What is up guys, Cheese here, and today we've got the Battle Ram Challenge. Uh, it's pretty exciting anytime they release a new card and make it a challenge because you have an opportunity to just get that card. And it's really cool because we get to get it early. So on my main account, I already got a 5 win challenge which is all you need to unlock the card. And then all you have to do after that is... Um, keep playing. Well, you don't even have to keep playing. You can just uh, get chests and open it that way. Um, but anyways, my other, like I said, my other one, I got it. So I can start building on that with any chest I get. But I can farm them in the channel to make it go quicker. So with that being said, I'm going to show you one of my replays from that game. Um, no, this is not. In case you know who Sun D is. I'm fairly certain this isn't. I thought it was, but then I was like, oh wait, there's probably plenty of fakes. And then I looked it up and his clan is different. Unless he changed clans for some reason, but I'm pretty sure that this is not him. Um, but anyways, the reason I have Elite Barbarians in the deck, which isn't evidenced by this first thing right here anyways, but I got the Elite Barbs for the battle ram um it works fairly well um the the log gets taken out by the elite barbs immediately so it can't get that charged up thing on your tower um the log is in this deck because that also resets the battle ram so in case i get caught off guard or i don't have enough elixir at the very least i can use the log and then hopefully I have like a Mega Minion or the Ice Golem that can tank. So now that I've more or less reset and done pretty much equal damage to that other tower, I'm going to save my Elite Barbarians if I can for his uh, Battle Ram, which is what I use right here. Um, I reset the log. Uh, he does a ton of damage just because... Apparently, you, you can't bump your cord while you're recording. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't record. So, these skeletons are going to go down at the worst time because I just dropped my graveyard. So, now I have to try and recover from this because he's going to take it all out with his um, executioner. Which I'm seeing a ton of in this challenge. So, I would heavily recommend some sort of counter to the executioner um, whether it be elite barbs your own executioner um, ice golem works very well because it just moves its uh, throw out of the way you got to be careful of uh, the tornado though um, the battle ram if you can get it to connect it actually works really well um, because there's nothing that they can do to uh, stop the uh, barbarians afterwards so it's actually really nice so I logged all that and now I just get to play defense see how that, so that log just never makes it and that's that's game right there um, but yeah executioner is really good the um, Battle Ram is difficult. I imagine it's probably going to get a buff. Um, and I so I did a classic challenge with my second account. Not doing so hot. I think I started 0 and 2, and now I've won two straight. So I'm not really sure what um, that's going to end up being. Um, and I found. Battle Ram, it's only four elixir, so I found if I just almost started off like a surprise hog, um, about 50% of the time they don't have the correct counter in their hand and they don't know what to do. Or it's scar me and I can just log it and it pretty much isn't a huge deficit. Um, a lot of Electro Wizard, um, I'm pretty sure you can't fireball him anymore. Uh, but the Executioner does a pretty good job of taking out these big pushes. 
So if you can last long enough to uh, take it out with your executioner, then you're in a pretty good position. Just like that. I mean, as big as that push was, he practically did nothing. So I'm pretty sure I just waste my graveyard here. Because, oh, look at that. Yeah, there's not really much uh, tanking, especially since I should have known that he had the Skarmy. And I didn't have enough elixir to take out his Skarmy. So, eventually, I will figure out what his cards are. And I'll figure out his rotation. And uh, I will do something. So, I uh, put the uh, Battle Ram over here just to kind of split up his push. I'm pretty sure the Battle Ram can actually take... Yeah, okay, so it can take out the Electro Wizard. So, as long as you, um... You can, you can actually just separate the Electro Wizard if it's by himself. So, I did that, and it made this push a little bit easier to uh, take care of. But, unfortunately, he's got the Executioner and the Log. Luckily for me, I'm smart as shit, and I knew he's going to drop his Skarmy. So, I threw down that Predictive Log. And I'm going to get his Executioner and his Electric Wizard distracted so that I can take this Giant out and then move forward and take out the rest of his uh, push with my Elite Barbs and my Executioner still up. And now I finally get to put down my um, Graveyard. I call, almost called it a Skarmy. I don't know why I threw arrows, just for fun, I guess. But luckily, my executioner locked on to his and chipped his tower a bit. So now I'm going to distract his executioner again so that he can't take out everything I have and somehow take all of this out so that he can't take my tower down. Now I've got. Elite Barbs and an Ice Golem going down. He can't put his Skarmy on me because I have an Executioner and an Ice Golem. And here goes my Graveyard and my Elite Barbs and my Executioner and my Minion all going down on him at the same time. Um, I think he invested a little too much in his last push because he thought he was going to get it. So this one, this last video that or this last replay that I have is actually a decently close one I, th I think I'd change something up in this deck I can't remember so I see his executioner go down so I decide to use the battle ram on the other side the uh, tombstone is a really good counter for the battle ram if it's naked um, and right here, I'm like, okay, cool, you got the graveyard, you used it at a terrible time. Because I can counter it, take out your executioner, and get a push going. But he's got the Electro Wizard, so unfortunately he's going to take out my Mega Minion. And I decide, screw it, let's just drop these Elite Barbs, even though the, that Electro Wizard is going to put in work. Luckily, he misses his Fireball. And I just go to town. I get. He has to zap my uh, executioner. So now I know I can use the graveyard because he can't zap it. And boom, done. Tower's gone. And that's it. He he's now playing from behind this whole time, and I can just focus on playing defense, which is awesome. So that's a great thing about this deck is that you can turn that elite barb defense into a huge counter push because there's a ton of health and obviously they're very dangerous um i would definitely say executioner is a great counter the executioner so i might want to put it in and that tornado executioner deck that i showed you in my last video is actually really good too so i would recommend switching one or two cards out in order to get it into this challenge and he I don't this miner is not efficient at least not in this one battle ram actually is a pretty good um, 
decoy as well. Um, you saw them lock on, and now I get to take this out. I'm gonna drop my executioner down in combo with the mega minion. Drop my ice golem to take care of this graveyard, and now I have another big push. And there's nothing he can do with this. Um, trying to split up his troops with his battle ram. My executioner's taking things out. He's got to drop his Electro Wizard on the other side again. There's just not much he can do. And that log's going to go out. And that's that's game over. He he could never really use his Fireball very well. The Miner was worthless. He counters Graveyard very well. Counters Zap Baits pretty well, actually, too. Someone got really frustrated with me. Um, but I haven't gotten a 12 one yet. It's so hard, and I just actually got a text from Chris, and he said that he hasn't gotten his 12. It's just very hard. Um, is I almost feel like that uh, battle ram is just um, it's just a really hard card to use efficiently, I guess. So it's almost like a handicap, but. At the same time, like, everyone else has to use that handicap too. So, I guess, I don't know. Just make sure that you have a counter for the Battle Ram and a counter for the Executioner. Because I've seen that the most. The most trouble I've had with this deck so far is when the Royal Giant takes your tower. Because even if I get a tower back, then he just puts it in the corner and there's absolutely nothing I can do um, but yeah uh, that that's the battle ram challenge I hope you guys can get 12 wins comment and let me know if you do let me know if it was a classic or a grand I uh, hope you guys do well hopefully I can get it done too that would be freaking awesome get a bunch of battle rams and uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys cheese out